Hello and welcome fellow lock pickers to the Lock Lab 101 channel. It's been a busy day today. I've had quite a few uh, different mortise jobs uh, to do and in my hand was one of them. The backstory on this lock, um, which wasn't fitted by myself, but the, um, the door that this belonged to was broken into last year. Uh, the, it was forced, uh, the door was split, it was an oak door, it was split and, uh, and the thieves basically got in. And um, I put in a quote to replace the lock, but the insurance company insisted that they used <clears throat> their own people to come back and refit the lock. So they had their own carpenter and uh, they came back and I didn't hear anything else about the job. And then today the client rang me and said, can I go around because the lock isn't um, working properly and they were unable to open and close uh, the door or open or, or lock and secure the door even. So, um, so I went around and uh, peered through the um, keyhole and noticed, as you probably can see, the curtain was misaligned in this lock. And when the key was in the lock, uh, the key was offset over at an angle and when it was turned you can see that it starts to throw that uh, bolt it kind of gets stuck even if I manipulate it backwards and forwards and I can even well there we go get the key jammed in the lock so that key is now turned um, full 360 degrees and as you can see the uh, the bolt has hardly come out of the lock. In fact, it's not even engaged. There we go, I've just pulled it all the way out. So So if you ever look through uh, the keyhole and you see this misalignment of the curtain and if you're getting some particularly funny behavior on the key, one thing that you should always do when you fit um, a mortise lock to a door, especially uh, a fortress, is check these cap screws are tight. So it takes a second with a screwdriver, literally just, just check the uh, tightness of those before you pop in the door. Because if you don't, um, as time goes by, and that's what's happened on this one, if you have a look, you can see the screws have come loose, the case or the cap has uh, come apart, and obviously now the curtain and the lever pack are all out of alignment <coughs> and you're unable to uh, operate the lock properly. Sometimes this gets really bad and you, and you have to literally drill the case and uh, manipulate things inside or try and put things back together. Um, it can be a tricky one if it's gone too far. I got lucky with this today and I was able to open it and, uh, and see the problem quite easily. Also, by the way, when you pull this out of the door, where this back of the case has, uh, has opened out, it can get jammed. So, um, so it, it can be quite a struggle sometimes to get one of these out the door. So, always check that the cap screws are tight. Always give them a little bit of a tweak before you, uh, before you um, fit the lock into the door. Otherwise, this could be the result and an expensive callback. I took this trash out and I replaced it with um, a decent lock. I put a Union 2234E uh, back in its back in its place, which is a nice looking lock, and I'm sure that's going to give them many years of uh, of good service. And I'll pop a photo of that on the door. Um, the second thing I wanted to just show you is when you are practicing and picking using ERA locks and the Fortress lock, the actual bolt stump 
on this bolt is made out of a very um, uh, soft metal. And if you have a look at this one, which hasn't really been practiced on much, I'm just gonna bring that to the camera. If you have a look on here, I don't know whether you can see, but there are grooves starting to form in that bolt stump. And those grooves are caused by the, when you're picking the lock and you're lifting the levers up and down, up and down, up and down, uh, binding them. All the time that they're binding, they are actually abrading and wearing grooves in this, uh, in this bolt stump. What's gonna happen is if you pick this lock too often, um, these grooves will reach a stage where the lock then becomes really difficult to pick and, uh, and it will bind in really strange ways. So bear in mind that when you're practicing with um, a fortress, um, ERA fortress lock, have a look at the bolt stump occasionally, take the cap off, have a look, just check the condition and see how these grooves are. So this one is actually, I would say starting to get to the point now, hopefully, I'm hoping you can actually see that, starting to get to the point where it's gonna be difficult to use this or it's gonna make it a much more fun and interesting pick. Uh, obviously the normal operation of the lock, um, the key would lift these levers uh, to, to the proper gate so that the, the, um, the stump can slide across and drop down and it never actually lifts them with the levers rubbing against it. So it's only when we're picking by applying tension against the side of the levers so we can get them to bind that we actually get this effect. So, uh, so if you've got a, a fortress and you're finding it difficult to pick, this may well be the problem. All right, guys, that's my uh, little snippet for the day. Cheers, bye for now.